An RAF officer uh, claimed he was discriminated against for being a Scottish male Christian. Uh, uh, he's won a victimization case against the Ministry of Defense after top brass at the RAF fired him following his complaints. Uh, basically, he said he was being victimized because he was white, uh, Scottish, male, Christian. And of course, the RAF does stand accused of becoming mm. terribly, terribly woke. It was recently found to uh, secretly have decided no more white middle class males mm. must be pilots for the RAF. This well, has to stop, yes, doesn't it? it really it does. has to stop. We want the best service personnel. I don't care what colour your skin is. I want the or best Or whether you're a woman or, or a man. Or whether you're a woman or best a man. for the job. It, completely. And this discrimination, positive discrimination, has got out of hand. But we see it not just in the service personnel. Now, we see it across the board, don't we, in terms of if you've got two equally good candidates, you know where that job will go. Actually, isn't it time we saw past skin colour, saw past uh, w which uh, sex you are, uh, whether you're, whatever your sexuality is? I want the best people in those jobs. It's about defence of the nation. Now, the armed forces must, must, must be purely this, a meritocracy. Whoever's best for the job does it. Um, they, the RAF or the Army or the Navy, for that matter, must not have quotas. No. They must not say, we need a certain percentage of women, we need a certain percentage of uh, people of colour. They must not so, do so this. So where's this come from, though? This is the politicisation of our armed forces. So where is, the, where, where, where is their autonomy in all of this? Who is actually sticking this oar in, saying you've got to have all of these quotas? Or is it the fact they've just completely lost their way? Yeah, this guy, uh, Wing Commander Alan Steele, uh, he was actually a lawyer for the RAF, but a wing commander. Uh, he had a 17-year career, uh, and uh, he was accused of threatening and abusive behaviour. He was actually convicted in court uh, in 2016. In the aftermath of this, his relationship with his superiors deteriorated. Uh, and, uh, but uh, he, he went to court with them and said, you victimised me because I'm white, middle-class, Scottish, and a Christian and the court found in his favour. Now, that's something for the RAF, RAF to think about, isn't it? Well, it is, indeed. I, I went for a job with a media organisation, and I was told, although I was the best candidate, I wasn't getting it because I was white. Was that the BBC? <laughs> it was. Yeah. <laughs> you see, why, why, why am I not surprised? <laughs>